When I think of coming here, I think of reaching out to the members of the church in Hong Kong, and we bond with this faith that we have in the Savior. It's like you're just been transported into another world. And so it'll be interesting to see well, how does the gospel work in their lives? Do you in your schools have challenges like this where people question your faith? One of my main messages to the young women will be stay firm, stay fixed upon the Savior and His restored gospel. So you are praying, you are doing everything that you need to do to have Heavenly Father help you know what you should do. It, it starts yeah, in the home. It does. And, and so a lot of, of what we need to talk about is how do we strengthen the home? At tonight's meeting, we just felt a, a real connection that was, we were here together, we were sisters in the gospel, and we love to learn together. And we bond with this faith that we have in the Savior. We all love Him and want to strengthen each other. The church in Cambodia, this will be a whole different experience. This will be the first time we get to visit members right in their homes. Can I just give you a hug? Yeah. Oh. I had a tender experience with a little primary president. They were just under a, a shelter. Their home burned down and they lost everything. <laughs> they have faith and, and they don't let the hardships of life keep them away from their faith and what they believe. You are such a good boy. This morning in Mongolia, we were up at the summit looking over the city. I felt like this place is going to be a real anchor for the gospel. These people are very solid. You can feel it in their testimonies. One of the most choice experiences of this visit was an opportunity I had today to visit the year of Nada and her little family. We've drove up to the Gare, and uh, you really can't tell much about it. It's just this roundish, whitish, padded thing. And then we stepped in, and the warmth surrounded us. But the real center of the warmth were the, the girls and their mother. Nara, thank you for what you do for these children. <laughs> and I felt such a kinship as we personally got acquainted with the people, I, I just felt these are my brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's sweet. It really doesn't matter where you live, it's how you live. And the gospel is our guide in how we live.